The Canon 90D, is it worth in 2023? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Canon 90D and is it really worth in the year 2023? This camera was launched in uh, 2019. There are certain reasons why I have preferred this camera. But I think something wrong with my audio. Let me just fix it. There you go. I think now my voice should be pretty good and you can clearly find the difference between my previous audio and now after having this microphone. There are certain reasons why I have preferred Canon 90D during this time. Now I am basically a Canon user. I have been using Canon camera for quite some time and my old camera was, let me grab it. And my old camera was Canon T3i and this I was using from quite some time and uh, I've, I've, after using the camera I understand I need to upgrade it and there was one specific camera with different features I was looking for and I narrowed it down to Canon 90D. In this mirrorless world there are very good options for different cameras however I went for Canon 90D because of some specific reason. Let me tell you about that. The first thing is ergonomics. This camera, even though it's a crop sensor camera, it is a big and bulky and when you hold it, you can actually feel how different it is. It is a really bulky camera because I have a bigger palm and uh, it gives a solid grip. So it is very good uh, while holding the camera. Now this camera is weather sealed, then all the buttons are placed perfectly and you take out any Canon camera, the ergonomics of the camera is pretty good. Canon camera's menu systems are very easy to use and any beginner can quickly grasp it and he can start using the camera. Let's talk about the camera features. This camera comes with 32.5 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and it can take really good pictures and great videos. It can shoot 10 frames per second and also it can shoot 4K videos uncropped. Now I, th I think that's one of the biggest features I have taken this camera. For buttery smooth b-rolls it can shoot 1080p up to 120 frames per second. I know for all the YouTubers out there how much the slow motions means to you and, and this camera can really take 120 frames per second which is a big deal for this camera. The 1080p quality coming from the 90D is way way better than any other cameras. So if you are a content creator and you want to use a camera for run and go, you don't want to do any post editing, then this camera is a perfect choice for you. Because of the colors coming straight off the camera is also very very nice. You can also install the Cine style profile. If you want to enhance your color grading skill, this flat profile will definitely help you in that. Canon cameras, even though it's a crop sensor, you have a very wide variety of lens choice. You can use an EFS lens or you can use an EF lens. That means you can also use a full frame lens on this crop sensor body. So this gives you a bunch of choice of the lenses which you want to use. You can use Canon lenses and also you can use a third party lenses. I usually prefer Sigma lenses. The build quality of Sigma lenses are very good. Definitely the camera is not cheap. For the price it is a mid range of DSLR and of course the price varies from country to country but you can still find the camera around thousand dollars to twelve hundred dollars depending upon the region you are even though there are more popular mirrorless cameras are there in the market DSLR are still gonna stay because of the budget friendly feature we got the camera we started using it and I would still say it is not the perfect camera and every camera has its own positive and negative in this camera also there are certain amount of negatives I think if Canon would have uh, introduce these features as well. Maybe this could have been the game changer for Canon. Now the first thing is it doesn't comes with a dual memory card slot. Even though it's a great camera however it comes with only one card slot and uh, definitely you don't want to end up in a situation where you have uh, recorded the video and the file and the SD card got corrupted. It would have been much better if this camera would have come with dual card slot. It, this camera doesn't comes with IBIS which is in body image stabilization and you cannot shoot stable videos with your hand. You definitely need to use a gimbal. However, if your lens having an optical image stabilization, you still can able to manage. But in instead of that, you still have to use a gimbal if you want to do a perfect stable shot. Another is low light performance. You still have to plan your shot according to the lighting. Now it comes with the ISO of 25,000. 
and and also definitely you can boost the iso however compared to sony cameras this is not good for low light performance the canon 90 is still a great camera and definitely it's a value for money for the content creator and especially for the beginners who wants to jump into content creation even though it's a crop sensor camera with limited amount of lens i have also used this camera for my professional work i would still recommend canon 90d is value for money and you can also use it for your professional purpose so right now i use this camera for my professional work as well as for my youtube work so friends i hope this video was helpful to you and if you like similar content don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next one